Hi, this is Eva Wood. And Moses Nervous reporting for WBE TV. Season 4, Episode 1. There's a lot of new staff in our building. Like Miss Fly. No, she just got married, a.k.a. Miss Brookman. Oh, okay. Then let's take it to Emma Fugit and Hannah Knott reporting on new staff. Hi, this is Emma Fugit and Hannah Knott reporting, reporting for WBE TV. Today, we will be introducing new teachers and staff. Well, let's get introducing. So, Miss Gorgeshki, how are you liking the school so far? I love it here so far. Do you think you're going to be here next year? I really, really hope I will be. What's your favorite part about WBE? Um, I like all the students and the staff here. Cool. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So, Miss Stephanie, how are you liking WBE so far? So far, I love WBE. I've been working here since last January, and it's just been a great place to work for. I love it. Cool. Do you think you'll be here next year? I will definitely be here next year, yes. What's your favorite part about WBE? My favorite part about WBE is, of course, the staff here. Uh, the front office staff is really fun to work for. I love everyone up there, and you guys, of course, are awesome. I love our students here at WBE, and I just love being a WBE Bobcat. Cool. But that's not, Emma, that's not all the new teachers and staff. Yeah, there's still others, like Miss Sarah and Mr. Chad and Julie and Chad Drake. Well, that's all the new teachers and staff we have this year. See you next time on WBE TV. Back, Back to, to the studio. studio. Spirit Week was lit, fam. Yeah, we still rocking the WBE spirit, yo. Yeah, let's take it to some real swagalicious bobcats. Like Maddie Leffler and Lexi Christman reporting on Spirit Week. Hi, this is Lexi and Maddie reporting for WBE TV. Maddie, wake up. Maddie, wake up. I'll be right back. Oh, you just got me wet. Now that I'm up, we will be talking about Spirit Week. The days are... Monday, Pajama Day. Kids brought in their pennies. Tuesday, Sock Sack. Kids brought in their nickels. Wednesday, dress to impress. Kids brought in their dimes. Thursday, hat day. Kids brought in their quarters. Friday, Bobcat Spearwear. Kids brought in their dollar bills, y'all. Lexi, you're not really getting what all of this is about. Well, what am I not getting from this swag girl? Well, this swag girl ain't getting that this is for kids and families in need. Over the week, we have raised over $1,000 for United Way from the coin drive. Yeah, that's really important. Well, this has been Lexi and Maddie reporting, reporting for WBE TV. Back to the studio. Man, I just ran six miles. <laughs> yeah, more like six feet. Well, a walkathon was a great success. I ran 34 left. How much you run, Mel? Um, I really don't know. Okay, then let's take it to Braden Gilchrist and Maya Bristow reporting on walkathon. Hi, my name is Maya Risto and Brain Gilchrist, reporting for WBE TV. The walkathon just happened a few weeks ago. Let's go interview the top students. Let's go. Let's go. In first place, we have Josiah Melegende with 53 laps. He got the most laps out of the entire school. So, Josiah, were you competing against anybody? No, I was just competing against myself because the year before that, I got 50 laps, and two years ago, I got 56 laps, and I just wanted to beat my last year's score. Are you in any sports and any ex, um, extracurricular activities at school that would help you with running? Well, I play on three soccer teams, and I have practice Monday through Thursday, and I have games over the weekend, so I run a lot, and we started a new club at school called Running Club, and that's helped me. Well, that's a great way to build up your stamina and push yourself for the end by getting the most in the entire school. Now we have Elena Butler with 45 laps. So, Elena, how did you prepare for the walkathon? Every Tuesday, I ran in running club after school. Cool. Were you in cross country? 
Yep. That's cool. Um, did you have any goals to set? Um, my goal was 50, but I was five away. That's nice. In first place, we have Mr. Callahan with 45 laps. So, Mr. Callahan, I heard you and Miss Taylor were in competition. Tell me about that. Well, we're all pretty competitive here. Uh, we, we're all involved in sports, and we're all kind of kind of competitive with each other. Uh, but I wouldn't say it was a, an extreme competition. We just went out there and, and did our best, and that's where it was. Well, you still got the um, top teacher in the entire school, so good you pushed yourself to, for the entire end. And we also heard that you were the top, you had the top class. So how do you think your students prepared? I think they were all excited and they set goals to, to try to achieve. Um, I don't know if the running club helped at all, but we have a lot of students involved in that. So I think maybe drinking a lot of water, uh, getting and being at the end of the day, they were very excited about it. So that might have pushed them a little bit. Well, that's a good way for them to prepare for the walkathon. The walkathon was a great success. I'll say, back, back to, to the studio. Word. Word. Hey, Mom, you want to make it musically? Sure, but it has to be neat, funny, and pretty good. Okay. Walked in this party and these girls looking at me. Skinny jeans on and you know my head and Hey, 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 okay, okay. I want y'all to do this dance now. Just you on that beat. Just Let's take to Abigail Bogue and Zoe Norman reporting on musically. Hi, this is Abigail Bogue. And this is Zoe Norman, reporting for WBE TV. This time, we're reporting on hashtags and musically. Every month, we will create a new hashtag. This month's hashtag is hashtag sports pride, hashtag WBE TV. Support your favorite sports team by wearing their colors. Here's one me and Abby made. It's Irons, Tigers on a gold leash, we don't care. We aren't caught up in your love affair. And we'll never be royal. Royals. That was one of our videos. Hope you liked it. We can't wait to see some of your musicals to put on WBE TV. This has been Abigail Bogue and Zoe Norman reporting for WBE TV. Back to the studio. Was academic night fun? Of course. What kind of fun? I don't know. Well, let's take it to Myra Calvin, Elena Butler, and Kaylin Grisafe reporting on academic night. Hi, my name is Elena Butler and Myra Calvin. Caitlin Grisafi, reporting for WBE-TV. We are here live at Academic Night. We are here to interview people how, what they love about Academic Night. And to see what's going on in, the, going on in those rooms. Let's, Let's go. go. Caitlin, the, the rooms are this way. What do you like most about Academic Night? I love spending time with my son and learning more about the school. What do you love more about, most about Academic Night? Pizza. So what do you love about Academic Night? What I love most about Academic Night is how you get to see all the teachers. You get to have so much fun being with all the teachers doing science and making all sorts of cool fun crafts. So what do you love about Academic Night? I just love having the opportunity to come to WBE and experience a little bit of what you guys get to do every day here. What do you love about Academic Night? Um, making the cool stuff and making a jellyfish. What do you love about Academic Night? I love hanging out with my daughter and watching her make all, these, all this cool stuff. Okay, so what do you love about Academic Night? I love to see my friends and, and do some fun stuff with them. What do you love about Academic Night? I think the coolest part for me is getting to see all the families come together and get to have fun in a situation that maybe they wouldn't have gotten to otherwise. So what do you love about Academic Night? One of my favorite things about Academic Night is that I get to see my current students and some of my old students coming in and learning and doing the activities with us. So I always like to see some of the friendly faces. Wow, that was great. What I love about Academic Night is I get to spend time with my family and I get to spend time with my friends and at the school. Caitlin, what do you love about Academic Night? Well, I like that I get to spend time with my friends and more time with my teachers. Elena, what do you love about Academic Night? I love that I get to have fun with my family and do fun activities. Back to the studio! Yeah. Bam! 
Mo, I'm so swag I turned into a bone woman. A.K.A. skeleton. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Okay, maybe not. Let's take it to some real scares like Hayden Robertson and Peyton Pyle reporting on Halloween. This is Peyton Pyle and Hayden Robertson reporting, reporting for a spooky episode of WBETV. So Hayden, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be a koala. Cuddly koala. You? Squid. Yeah. Spooky, right? You want the truth? No. <laughs> well, let's go see what other kids are being for Halloween. We're here with Marley. Marley, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Interesting. I'm here with Elena. Elena, what are you going to be for Halloween? A really cool Pikachu. Sweet. We're here with Rosalie. Rosalie, what are you going to be for Halloween? A Pikachu. Ooh. I'm here with Elena. So Elena, what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be Little Red Riding Hood. Sweet. They're going to be spooky, right? Yeah. Chunk or Treat just went by last week, right? Yeah. It was tons of fun. Yeah. Scaly had fun, too. Well, Hayden, we need to wrap this up. Oh, okay. Well, this has been Peyton Pyle and Hayden Robertson reporting, reporting for, for a spooky episode, episode of WBETV. Back to the studio. Thanks for watching. Episode 1, Season 4 of WBETV. We're dope, yo. Yeah.